Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to do an activity based on the previous lecture where we listed four search strategies. The first strategy for searching for a proposal is to get organized. And if you did not understand the suggestion there, it was to use a table or spreadsheet to maintain the grant names, organizations, and due date of funding opportunity. And then update it according to your own schedule. So basically for individuals who would like to maintain a list of funding opportunities that they have found, one strategy is to use a table or a spreadsheet to maintain those searches. So the second strategy is to keep it simple as at first. So I'd like for you to go now to Google and once you're in Google I'd like for you to type in Grant Funding 2015 and you see that there are millions of opportunities out there which is much too broad isn't it so I'd like for you to go back to that Google search and Add a state or city name, grant funding New York or your own state 2015. We still have millions of search results, however, we have cut that into half. So now you want to be even more specific. Let's go back to Google. After school, grant funding, New York, 2015. And you see that there are even fewer search results for that particular uh, Google search. Now you can change after school to any other topic. It could be senior citizens, grant funding, New York, 2015, or a city name. But that that's just, these are quick strategies. You can also go to grants.gov. If you have an opportunity, go to grants.gov. And in grants.gov, top right corner, you can search by keywords, or you can go down to the left side of the screen in grants.gov and apply for grants or search, I'm sorry, search for open grant opportunities. The newest opportunities, you can browse the different categories, whether it's education, energy, science, transportation, housing. You can browse agencies. You know, in, in my profession, I mainly use Department of Education and Department of Health and Human Services. However, later on, there were a number of funding opportunities found for juveniles found under Homeland Security. So you just simply have to narrow down your search, and then you can also search according to eligibility whether or not it's an individual or grants for individuals or city or town or county governments or nonprofits having a 501c3 or nonprofits without a 501c3 so those are just uh, this is a quick activity and I hope you take time to uh, do some additional searches and we'll see you in the next lecture.